Hey everyone, what's up? This is Sniper Snape with Wizard101 Weekly Episode 7. So, uh, this has been a bit big week for both Wizard101 and Pirate101. Um, I'll start with Wizard101 as I usually do, but uh, there's definitely a lot of Pirate101 stuff that we have to cover as well, so, um, you know, look forward to that a little bit later. But uh, in the background right now, I just have some Pirate101 footage from the beta playing. Uh, right now the beta is actually closed, but we'll get to that and stuff. So this is actually old footage. It's actually the last of the footage that I have for the beta. And all the other stuff is going to be in um, when the new game launches, or when the full game launches. So um, for Pirate 101, or actually for Wizard 101, uh, the big news is that the Halloween festival is going on right now. So if you've been in Wizard 101, you've probably seen all of the uh, new decorations and stuff that they always set up for it. So, um, and, uh, with this week, it was also the release of the new, uh, Ravenwood Bulletin for October. So, um, I'm going to be looking at that. And, uh, you know, really, uh, ha the Halloween, um, NPC character, Spooky Bob, is going to be over there. Um, if, yeah, a lot of people have been asking me about, uh, the hat that I have, which is, uh, the skeleton one. You can actually buy that from Spooky Bob in the past year, so I'm sure he still has that or something like that. Um, and he, I mean, it's crowns only, but you can uh, stitch it to whatever you want, so it looks pretty sweet. And you know, with me, I just, I just uh, put mine with the guardian armor, the crowns armor from that's just vanity armor, I think. So uh, that's that's basically all I wear uh, with my um, waterworks gear, which I still have on, but it's the best. So. Uh, in the Ravenwood Bulletin, it talks about some new elixirs that they have added, and uh, basically it's just, a lot of them are just expansion ones. Uh, one of them expands your backpack, and, um, oh, and it also expands your house, so you can put more items in your house. Um, the additional castle elixir, which we saw back, um, that was actually released in one of the, um, the gift card packs. So, and then there's a crafting elixir, reset all your crafting timers, a hatching one, which is the same but for eggs, and then um, another hatching potion as well, so, uh, just, just things, basically if you want to pay crowns in order to be able to hatch faster or craft faster, then, you know, that's there for you if you want to do that, and, of course, the expansion elixirs if you want more house room and all that, so, um, that pretty much covers it for the Ravenwood Bulletin for October. Uh, looking at the Ravenwood news, um, really there was, a, there was a couple of crown sales. There was the 60,000 crown sale, which it seems like they have that almost every week now. Um, there, was a, there was a sale on the 12-month membership. And then uh, it seems like there was a couple patches. Uh, I think that was the same patches as we talked about last week with the invisible barrier in the uh, celestial base camp. That was really weird. But um, yeah, that's, that pretty much covers it for Wizard 101. Uh, just go ahead and uh, look in the commons. And I think Spooky Bob is actually in the shopping district, if I'm not mistaken. And he sells that kind of stuff if you want to buy it. I think he sells like different pets and stuff. Uh, most of it's crowns only, I think. So, um, And then there's a, I think there's another character that gives quests too, if you want to do that. So uh, that's really uh, what's going on in the spiral for Wizard 101 with the new Halloween stuff. Um, oh, the other thing that was on Wizard 101's Facebook page is uh, with the arrival of October and Halloween, a lot of fan sites are hosting contests. So if you want to enter into some of these contests, I would just head over to uh, Wizard 101's Facebook page. And they have links to a bunch of um, other fan sites like Ditto, The Monster and um, Legends of the Spiral, and they have some uh, contests going on. I think one of them is you just uh, tweet at, oh, you, you, you send your, your entry to ditto contest at gmail.com and you enter, uh, you change one word in a scary movie uh, with the word ditto. So the, it gives the example, the bride of ditto. So uh, if you want to do that, then I'll post a link down to this contest and you know actually have some pretty good prizes with um, a death house and some crowns and then a bunch of uh, new house or new Halloween themed housing items so 
Uh, if you want to do that, I'll post some links to those if you want to go and uh, check those out. And there's also one for Legend of the Spiral, so I'll post both those links. And um, I would just stay tuned to Wizard 101's Facebook and stuff, so they they periodically post those different kind of contests and stuff that are going on. Um, especially now, it seems like Halloween is a big holiday for Wizard 101 and stuff, and all the fan sites, so there's probably a lot happening with that. So, on to Pirate 101. Um, obviously, the big news is that tomorrow, October 8th, is the head start for the actual game. So, the beta is closed as of, I think today, maybe yesterday. I wasn't on yesterday, but um, I tried to go on today and it was closed. But that's just in preparation for the actual launch of the full game. So, if you did buy uh, the pre sale items or the, the packages, which I bought the um, Boochbeard bundle. So uh, you can get in a week early. So that will be on October 8th. And then the official launch for everyone else will be on October 15th. Um, I looked on Pirate101's website and they actually have pricing plans for uh, the one month and all that. So um, there is an option for a multi-game or family package, which is $7 each. So I'm guessing that's like, um, like you could have one account on... Wizard 101 and one account on Pirate 101, and those would each be seven dollars, so fourteen dollars instead of say paying twenty dollars a month. And then of course, if you only have one account, you can pay ten dollars uh, for a membership to Pirate 101. The sixth month is fifty dollars, and then the twelve month with month, which is actually on sale and includes a parrot pet, is sixty dollars. And that that's uh, for a limited time only. So if you want to get that, you should probably you know go ahead and do that quickly if you want the 12 month so there was a sneak peek of pirate 101 that they offered on the fourth so if you got into that um that was on the, the fourth and it was only that day so if you missed it you know you can't really do anything about it it was only up for six hours too but they just kind of invited anyone who wanted to download the game and see it and check it out and stuff you know probably to test their servers as well to see if it could take that um kind of traffic and uh, that was on the 4th, so uh, they said that that was a big success. So that that's definitely looking good for the actual release of the game tomorrow. And um, there was actually a thing with IGN where they were giving away 60,000 crowns too. You had to write a haiku, but I think I don't know if that's over yet or if that's still going on. But that was posted on October 2nd, so I think that's still going on actually. So I'll post a link to IGN's. Uh, contest, so a bunch of contests going on with Pyro 101 and Wizard 101. Um, basically, that seems to be all with Pyro 101. So um, tomorrow I will be playing Pyro 101 when it releases. Um, expect some, you know, impression videos, and then I'm going to be starting a walkthrough uh, video of that or a series. Uh, for people that have been asking about Avalon walkthroughs. Um, the last couple of videos of that actually got deleted. I did say this in another video a while back, but um, I haven't renewed my subscription to Wizard101. I don't know if I'm going to soon, especially with Pirate 101 just releasing. So um, I don't know. We'll see what I feel like. Right now, I'm definitely just going to be, be playing Pirates, and uh, I don't know if I'll go back to Wizard101 unless there's like a big major update with the world or something then I'll definitely cover that but uh, just stay tuned for more Wizard 101 stuff and you know for now I'll be posting Pirate 101 walkthroughs so go ahead and enjoy that but otherwise that's all the news for um, King's Isles MMOs I'm Sniper Snape and I'll see you guys in Pirate 101 later